Hi YouTube, what's up everybody? Uh, Renee Bruce Miller here. I just wanted to do another video about um, post-traumatic stress disorder and illnesses that can be caused as a result of narcissistic abuse. And the reason why I think this is very important is I do get a lot of messages and questions about it, um, about symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, issues that having narcissistic uh, abuse you know, ha for a long time uh, and how those things um, actually play themselves out in your life and how those things actually affect your health and your well-being. And so uh, what I wanted to do this video about was pretty much explain to you all the issues that you will be going through or you may go through and how to recover yourself from that. And um, I can really talk about that because I have um, had the experience of going through post-traumatic stress disorder and where I was diagnosed with a brain tumor and also where I was, um, I had to recover myself from that. And so that happened, um, it has occurred more than once with me. And so the video that I'm going to take you through is pretty much that journey. The very first time that I went through uh, PTSD and then was diagnosed with a brain tumor. The video doesn't really get into all the details of exactly what, um, what caused me to be in that situation. So I know a lot of people are going to say, well, how did a girl like you end up in a situation like that? Um, very easy. Um, I, at the time, I was living with my mother. I was hoovered. Um, my mother is a uh, borderline personality disorder, narcissistic personality disorder, and I was discarded twice in one year. And um, those two discards left me homeless and left me with nothing. And as an immigrant, I really had nowhere to turn. And um, I was experiencing anxiety attacks. I was going through so much. And uh, I just, you know, from that experience, I also met someone um, who claimed to love me and they were going to help me. But I knew that there were a lot of things that were wrong. And I'm going to also do another video about <laughs> narcissistic discard. I'm going to do a video about um, some of the issues that you're going to experience while in a relationship with a narcissistic abuser. But this video in particular is about your healing. It's a really about your journey and um, anything that you can take away from what I've gone through, you are so much better for it. Um, I also have a blog that you can visit at uh, httpsvictimwarfare.com um, and there I discuss a variety of different things. You can also follow me on Quora, K -U, I'm sorry, Q-U-O-R-A uh, forward slash Renee, R-E-N-A-E dash Bruce, B-R-U-C-E dash M-I-L-L-E-R. So um, let's get into the video. I was in a very, very low place in my life. I had entered into a relationship that with someone who was psychologically abusive, gaslighted me, and um, I couldn't necessarily get out of the relationship. And um, as a result of that, my hair started to fall out. Um, as I said before, I ended up in the relationship um, coming straight off of um, a discard from my mother. and. The person devalued me after sex, and so I knew that something was wrong, and his behavior was very similar to that of my mother. I wasn't able to sleep. Um, this is a sleep study they're performing on me. Um, I was in and out of the hospital for various reasons. There were um, many different types of tests being ran on me, and um, no one could really tell me exactly definitively what was wrong until um, I was diagnosed with a brain tumor and this is the MRI from uh, that initial scan that discovered the tumor in my pituitary and I descended into a dark hole I felt like I couldn't come out of it I was just stuck and you know I was just uh, suffering in silence I couldn't really tell anyone what was going on 
this is my dresser covered in medications until one day I figured out that I needed to take charge of the situation myself. And so I completely switched to a holistic diet, starting taking my turmeric and my honey and, you know, just really focusing more on the nutritional content of the food that I was consuming. I just went cold turkey and just started to take care of myself green leafies, um, you know, lots of fruits and vegetables, anything that could up my dopamine. Um, you know, blueberries helped a lot. Um, um, you know, I had a lot of different types of foods, figs. I, t I kind of changed my diet completely and anything that looked strange when I went to the market, I bought it. You know, instead of rice, I had quinoa. I had a lot of cilantro. Um, you know, I, I took a lot of, I ate a lot of sweet potatoes because, uh, there's a lot of positive enzymes in the sweet potatoes that helped and, you know, just anything that was strange and beautiful. I bought it, brought it home, cooked it, and just tried to heal myself out of that. Cherries are also filled with zinc and that helped me tremendously. I didn't eat baked products. Anything that I wanted, I baked myself. Uh, anything that I wanted, you know, that was sweet for a treat, I made myself. Um, you know, I focused heavily also on traditional foods. And when I was bad, I did um, eat a lot of turmeric. I also walked four miles a day, two miles going, two miles coming back. And I accepted invitations from any friend um, who had a party, who wanted me to come. I decided that I was going to go outside. I was going to see the world. I was going to meet people. I was going to go places. I wasn't healing being isolated and gaslighted. And so, you know, any opportunity that I could get to take myself outside of, you know, my four walls, and, um, you know, I attended any kind of television filming and, you know, I started to attract different kinds of people. Um, that was um, John Legend, Nikki Blonsky, Marley Marl, um, because I was out and about and I was in my element. I was just meeting the kinds of people that were um, around in the environment that I was working in. And um, I just threw myself in my wor into work, and it was very difficult. You know, I took, a, I did a lot of uh, projects as well. I'm going to talk about the projects that I do, and how they help me to get through the bad days. Um, and those things help me to make beautiful things. I call it painting away the pain. And something beautiful happened. My hair started to grow back. Um, it's in the places where it fell out it started to grow back vigorously as it was before and I just want you to know that whatever you're going through you can get through it um, I got through it you can too and um, you know I was able to strengthen and empower myself from there so thank you so much for watching this video and you have the best life possible you can do anything thanks